Today the topic that we are going to explain is the opening and closing operation. Opening and closing is a very important morphological operation. Uh, well, morphological operations are those operations that we perform on images to play with their shapes and sizes. For example, you can see that I have drawn this image over here, right? So if you want to open the small joint in this image, this will be called an opening operation. So in, so in order to perform this op opening operation, we will take help from two operations. So one is erosion and one is dilation. So the equation in front of you is the equation that we perform for opening. First of all, we have an image which is represented with F. We perform an opening operation on that image with the help of a uh, S. S. What is S? S is basically a structuring element. So you perform op opening on the image F with the help of S and uh, to perform that we first, first of all we do erosion and after erosion we perform dilation. So this minus sign is representing erosion and this plus sign is representing dilation. So here you can see that we have performed an erosion operation right. So these two parts are separate and after that we have performed a dilation operation. So what is dilation? The size of the object is increased with the help of dilation right. And the uh, weak links are opened with the help of erosion, as the names also depict the same. So now let's solve an example to understand this opening operation. Uh, well, we have an image uh, F. Uh, this is the basically you can see the pixel uh, representation of the image. And this is a structuring element. Structuring element is a window that we multiply with the image point to point or we can say pixel to pixel. And with the help of that multiplication, the morphological operation is actually op uh, performed on the image, right? Nothing happens with the structuring element. Whatever happens, that happens with the image. That is something that you have to keep in your mind. So in step one, we are going to perform erosion. Whenever you are performing erosion, keep this thing in mind that you have to do a fit uh, uh, you have to do a fit operation. So now what is the fit operation? Fit operation means that when you have when you will uh, place the center pixel of the structuring element This is the center pixel of the structuring element. You place this uh, this uh, center pixel on your foreground pixels. So what are your foreground pixels? These are the foreground pixels. These ones are representing the foreground pixels and these uh, uh, zero zeros are representing the background pixels. So you are going to place this uh, center pixel of the structuring element one by one on all the foreground pixels. So when I place it, the erosion means that all the ones should hit, all the ones should fit. All the ones uh, of this um, image should match with the ones of the structuring element. You can see that there is uh, there is no one on these uh, diagonals of the structuring element. So we do not bother even if uh, uh, this position lies on a zero. But this one, this one, and this one, and this one must lie on ones. So from this, if I place this z uh, one over here, you see that top and bottom are zero and uh, left is also zero. So there is only uh, right side one and there is only left side one. So I am not going to place uh, one uh, over here. That is why I have placed this thing as zero. First of all, uh, okay. Uh, for these uh, rows and the side columns you will simply place zeros because even if you place this one over here still you will never be going to get any uh, ones because all of these are zeros so for the side uh, borders uh, these rows and these columns you can simply place zeros and I'm going to start my operation whenever I'm talking about erosion so I'm going to start my operation from the foreground pixels so for this one i'm getting zero similarly when i place this center pixel of the structuring element over here again uh, i have got a uh, zero on that side so it is not a fit in erosion i need a fit fit means that all uh, the neighboring pixels of the uh, of the structuring element uh, all the ones should coincide with the ones of the element so again i'm going to get a zero here then for the next one again i'm going to get a zero for this one again I'm going to get a zero because uh, you know there is a zero. Now coming on to this 
uh, one when I place this center pixel of the structuring element over here again I'm going to get zero because this is a zero I'm not going uh, I'm not getting a perfect fit well but when I place my, this center pixel over here then I'm getting a perfect one up perfect one down right and left so this is the position of the pixel which I'm going to translate as one see I'm going to translate it as one for the remaining ones whenever I place this center pixel on one uh, still I'm going to get zero then if I uh, place it on this one again I'm going to get zero on this one again I'm going to get zero because of this zero in the bottom right and on this one again I'm going to get zero because of this zero in the bottom so if you see at the eroded image I'm going to get only one only single one pixel now after performing the eroding operation look at the equation so as the equation of uh, opening opening operation says that after erosion I have to perform dilation so let's perform the dilation operation now in order to perform the dilation operation uh, I will be using a structuring element a structuring element will be used with this uh, eroded image so I'll be placing this central uh, one pixel one by one on all the background pixels in the case of uh, dilation uh, dilation actually uh, requires hit principle what does hit mean hit means that if you get at least one uh, at least one of these ones of the structuring element if they coincide with any uh, one in the image the resultant pixel will the resultant central pixel will become one so uh, the dilation believes in hit principle right and for dilation we start from the background pixels so i'll place uh, this central pixel of uh, the structuring element on this background pixel so here you are not getting any you know any one on any side neither on the right neither on the bottom neither on the top top is of course padded with zero so i'm not getting any one so i'll simply place a zero on the uh, diluted image right and similarly i repeated for this repeated for this this and this uh, there are no ones on the bottom side so all of these rows will be translated as simple one the simple zeros right and now starting for the second row uh, when i place it when i place this one over here still i'll be getting zero <coughs> i'll be getting zero but when i place it here i'm getting at least one on the bottom side at least this one is uh, overlapped with this one so this uh, central pixel value will be changed to one in the um, you know in the diluted uh, in the dilated uh, image all right so when i place it here again i am getting zero and again i am getting zero similarly for this i will be getting zero because of this when i place it here again i will be getting uh, see there is no one on this side but at least there is a one on this side so when i uh, this central pixel will change its value into a one all right and similarly okay nothing to do with this because it's already one uh, when i place on this pixel so it is becoming one why because this pixel has got a one on its left hand side so this one is actually coinciding with this one that is why this is becoming uh, this is converting into one similarly for this row nothing will happen here nothing will happen here but yes for this one you have got a one on the top so it will convert into one uh, for this new this pixel nothing will happen this pixel nothing will happen and same is true for the bottom row so in the dilated image you can see that this 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 and this position have changed from 0 into 1 so this is my open image okay if we review it there was this, uh, you know the original image was having a box of ones in the middle well in the open image you have got these openings right you have got this thing which is very much similar to you know your structuring element and you have got these openings on the corners so this is how we perform an opening operation now let's perform the closing operation closing operation is normally represented with this equation in which this dot is uh, you know it's, it's all filled up in closing we say that if there is an image f and if it is uh, dilated this addition sign represents dilation if it is dilated with the help of a structuring element s and after dilation we perform this erosion then this complete operation is called closing well to remember this uh, i have made a trick for myself closing starts with c and dilation starts with d and c and d are you know uh, adjacent alphabets in abc 
so i'm just relating c with d to make myself uh, remember it okay whenever i'm going to do dilation so first of all uh, sorry whenever i'm going to do closing so first of all i'm going to do dilation and afterwards will be erosion right right so let's take the same image again the same f image and i'm going to dilate it with the same structuring element in dilation we remember that dilation believes in the principle of hits and hits mean at least one at least even if you get at least one single one of the structuring element coinciding with the one of your image dilation will still give you a one so when i placed uh, the central pixel of the structuring element on the first background pixel so you see there is uh, no one on this side no one on this side no one on top and no one on that side so simply this zero is translated as zero right but when you place this uh, when uh, when you place this structuring element uh, on this next zero there is a one on the bottom side so this zero is converted into this one when we place this structuring element on uh, this zero there is again a one on this bottom so it is also converted into one similarly this zero is also converted into one similarly when we place this structuring element on this one so all these uh, zeros will convert into ones in coming in the second row when i place this structuring element on this number because i have got a one on this side and in dilation i just need hits so this will also convert into one similarly this zero will also convert this zero will also convert and this zero will not convert because it has got no ones on its sides side, side right so you see three ones coming over here similarly on this hands this side also these zeros will convert into ones uh, so the top three zeros and the bottom three zeros will also convert into ones right and for these remaining elements in the center since they are already ones so we will simply write them as ones so this image is actually representing my dilated image after pre, uh, performing the dilation operation the second operation is uh, erosion operation in erosion again we will place this central pixel one by one on all the foreground pixels and in fit we remembered it uh, in erosion we remembered that erosion believes in fit and what is fit fit means all ones right fit means that all the ones of the structuring element should coincide with all the ones of the image so when i place this central pixel on the first foreground pixel you see here it's coinciding with all the ones so in the result uh, in the result you know uh, this one will be one but yes if i place it here it's it is getting a one here it is getting a one here but it's not getting a one here so this one will convert into zero similarly this one will also convert into zero because you know it has a zero on the top similarly this one will also convert into zero so you see the top row will become zero similar will be the case with the uh, the left hand side row similar will be the case with the right hand side row and similar will be the case with the bottom row so i placed uh, zeros here zeros here zeros here and zeros here well but for all the central pixels you know you got a one here you got a one here one here and one here so these central pixels will remain one this row will remain one similarly this row will remain one similarly this row central three will remain one so i have got the, this sort of a uh, eroded image all right so this is my closed image uh, if actually i compare this closed image result with the actual image you know the actual image so you see there is no much difference between the actual image and the last image so uh, does something comes into your mind that why there is no difference i have performed a lot of you know operations uh, performed dilation dilation converted into something you know larger because as the word uh, depicts itself dilation means that something has to increase in its size and i perform erosion by erosion the dilated image again you know converted into a smaller one it reduced in size but eventually i got you know i got no different thing from the uh, from the input image because there is nothing uh, there was no opening in the image there was no opening in the image which could have been closed so i have successfully performed clo the you know the complete closing uh, operation but practically it has got no significance because the image that i selected was not having any opening so till now we are good to go we have learned how to perform closing operations with the help of hit operation with the help of fit operation 
we have also learned how to perform opening operation if you like these two uh, do like the video thank you very much in the next example we can solve the similar closing and opening operations on an image which actually you know have see have has got some weak link which we can show that okay the link is now opening or the link is now closing so that will be you know more exciting to know thank you so much like the video do share it a lot please